What up, everybody? I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to see who or what is in your energy and what you should know about them here. I already shuffled for this and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. I'd like to thank everybody for those likes, comments, subscribes, booking those personal readings with me and just being here and giving me your good, good energy. What is in Virgo's energy? Spiritual practitioner. It's the homie at the bottom. Tell me about the spiritual practitioner in Virgo's energy. Ooh, domination. Okay. Number nine, Sagittarius energy, domination. It could be a spiritual practitioner, somebody who practice or um, does some type of divination here in your energy, Virgo. This person could be trying to dominate you in some type of way. Tell me about the spiritual practitioner and domination, what they're trying to do in Virgo's energy, what Virgo should be aware of. Tell me about the spiritual practitioner, domination, energy. The sun card here. Somebody's trying to succeed here. Or they could be trying to get clarity about you. Sun card could be a Leo, Sagittarius here. What is a spiritual practitioner doing in Virgo's energy? Justice card. Hmm. Well, justice card upright, somebody could be trying to balance something, all right? Find the truth here, gain some type of reward, or bring fairness. What's this? Tell me about the justice card here. What's the spiritual practitioner doing? The queen of wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. The Emperor. Yeah, they're trying to gain control in some type of way here, Virgo. I'm not liking this. Okay, the cards are coming out positive, but I still don't like it um, here, Virgo. We just said Sagittarius, Aries, Energy, and then the Queen of Wands came out, talking about a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries here. Then the Emperor came out, clarifying this is an Aries fire energy here. This person is trying to bring balance to something. I don't know what's here. I'm going to ask in just a second, but it's giving domination here with the Emperor card. Somebody here wants to have structure. They want to be uh, have authority over you in some type of way. What's the justice card? Six of swords. A transformation going into karma waters. What's the emperor? What's the emperor? The Knight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. <laughs> okay. There could be a spiritual practitioner in your energy who's trying to dominate over you, Virgo. I feel like this person is trying to manifest balance and justice for themselves. They're trying to make manifest security for themselves with an emperor here nine of wands and the ten of wands energy this emperor could be hard to uh difficult to commit um hard to tie down here ten of wands is causing this person a lot of burdens a lot of responsibility here this queen of wands could be connected to an emperor in your energy a masculine in your energy virgo 
Why is domination here? Yeah, Queen of Swords in the reverse. This person, they want to dominate over you. Probably because this masculine wants you in some type of way. There is, um, they're trying to dominate over you because this person is overly emotional. They're very cold. They're very bitter. So it's giving like bitter baby mama. It's giving bitter ex energy here. This person has no boundaries. All right. So they, they want to like grapple with you. They want to win here. What is the queen of swords in the reverse one? What is she bitter about? What is she bitter about? Page of Swords, what they're seeing. Somebody could be watching you. It could be a masculine watching you and they're bitter about this. What's the Page of Swords? The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse here. Okay, so... Um, they could be seeing that they're losing an opportunity with the masculine here. Okay, they could have learned they lost an opportunity with the masculine. All right, Ace of Swords, they lost either financially, physically, lack of foresight here. They're having money issues. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. The Knight of Coins. Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Coins. The Ten of Swords. Okay. So somebody could be losing their financial opportunity. This Divine Masculine, this Masculine, this Structure, this Father feather could father figure could have been giving somebody money could have been giving them an opportunity in some type of way here with the knight of coins energy is somebody who is dedicated efficient responsible to a routine they could have had a routine with this um, masculine all right that they are losing out on with the ten of swords energy there's a painful ending for this feminine this is why she's bitter what is why what should virgo know about this person The King of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. The Nine of Swords and the Six of Wands energy. <sighs> okay, um, there could be somebody here who wants stability, who wants to marry you. I just heard, put it on and make you wanna marry me. Put them on and make you want to marry me. Um, there could be somebody here that um, wants to be a counterpart here, Virgo. They want to bring you security and abundance. In the future, they want to expand with you. This is causing somebody to have a lot of fear and anxiety about you two success. Um, you two being successful together because that would be an ending for somebody else. The wheel of fortune but i feel like this was faded the queen of cups and the six of cups i feel like this was faded virgo the moon card here yeah something was hidden and it's coming out to light but i feel like this was faded here because somebody has love for you six of cups could be a soulmate energy here Or it was fated for this woman to be left out in the past here. Um, yeah, so there's a spiritual practitioner, somebody who's doing some type of work towards you, Virgo. They're trying to dominate over you in some type of way because they're losing their position with the masculine. Okay, and they're not happy about it. <laughs> and we're moving right along. Uh, so we are number nine, and I did all that in nine minutes. Nine could be significant here. What else is in Virgo's energy? An earth angel. Okay, Scorpio at the bottom. Tell me about this earth angel for Virgo.
tell me about this earth angel for Virgo. Criticism, Virgo energy. Okay, Virgo, this could be you and your own energy. Okay, we got Virgo card here that talks about criticism. It could be another Virgo in your energy that is an earth angel. Could be talking to a cross watcher who's watching for uh, Virgo. What is this energy? Earth angel and criticism. I just heard a 369. Earth Angel and Criticism. We have the King of Wands. And the Ace of Coins in the reverse here. Wheel of Fortune in, at the bottom. Okay. Um, you could be an entrepreneur here. All right. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, you could ha be having money issues. Um, you could be having some type of loss or this Earth Angel is. What's the King of Wands energy? What's the King of Wands energy? Hard work. Yeah, where you work. The Ten of Cups and the Seven of Coins. Okay, you can have a family with someone here. You could have a family, you could have some type of dream home fulfillment that you're working towards that you're trying to control and work towards Virgo, but the Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. What's this energy? What's the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? Ten of Swords, an ending betrayal. Ten of Coins. Hmm. Okay, 10, 10, 10 off the bat here. You could be criticizing yourself for having money issues, Virgo. Having some type of issues because you're really working hard and creating a family and creating a dream life for yourself here. But the 10 of swords, painful endings, betrayals, loss. Yeah, you could have like lost out on a large contribution, could have lost out on something or somebody could have lost out on you. This could be the energy of someone else in your energy who's losing out on opportunities after separating from you. Tell me about this energy. They could look at you like an earth angel, Virgo. It could be an earth sign. You could have gave them criticism here, the death card. Yeah, there was some type of ending. Okay, so there is definitely somebody who's trying to take control of a situation. All right, this could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries here. They're working hard to create some type of happy home after um, some type of loss here, Virgo. Uh, they have gone through some type of painful loss. They lost their legacy. They lost their financial stability. They lost something huge here. There's been a death. There's been a transformation. This could be somebody you, uh, you criticized. They're looking at you like an angel. All right. I feel like you cut this person off. Yeah, you're no longer working with somebody. You're being cold. You cut something off here. What is this person doing in Virgo's energy? The four of wands. This person want to celebrate with you. They want to give you security, structure. 
halfway to marriage card. This person could want to date you, marry you. Eight of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse talks about somebody who's self-centered, je jealous, smothering, shadow, shallow energy. Virgo, I feel like there's somebody in your energy who's working hard to, uh, that wants to work hard on having a relationship with you because after they lost something, they realized that this was a big loss, Virgo. Um, some type of death transformation is happening for this person. Now they're being more disciplined about who they work with. I feel like with the four of coin, the four of wands and the eight of coins, they may have been trapped in a situation, trapped with somebody here. Their their home space could be restricting in some type of way by a queen of coins in the reverse. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Five of wands and the eight of wands. Oh, okay. Okay, so Virgo, somebody thinks that you are selfish, shallow, because you don't want to work on the situation. Mm -hmm. They think you're the one who's self-centered here, Virgo. They're criticizing you. They're criticizing an earth angel. Somebody, this could be another earth sign, is criticizing an earth angel because you are fighting off communicating and moving things forward with this person. And this person is going through and taking a lot of losses. They're taking a lot of L's. Um, and they're mad at you. What does Virgo need to know about this? Yeah, it took me a second, y'all. What does Virgo need to know about this? The two of wands and the judgment card. They're going to be coming back in the future to amend things with you. All right, they're waiting for an opportunity here. Four of coins. They're still holding on to trying to fix things here, Virgo. Strength card. Seven of Swords, but there's strong deception behind this masculine energy. All right, so somebody could be in the energy of action. All right, with the King of Wands coming out first for this person's energy, I feel like that's they may have heavy fire in their chart here, but they could be an earth sign, Virgo. Um, or this is a fire sign. This is somebody who's working hard on creating something with you after finding out that losing you created more losses in their lives than they expected. It's ever since that you cut off communication, ever since you've been cold with working with this person, they look at you as self-centered, uh, jealous. They look at you as bitter, shallow, Virgo, because you're blocking out communication with them. Um, somebody is going to want to come towards you and fix things with you to get their place here. But ain't it weird how somebody thinks you're jealous, self centered shallow but they want to come towards you and fix things with you in the future if somebody was jealous if somebody was a shallow ass person if somebody wasn't good for me i wouldn't want to come and fix things with somebody so somebody's in their feelings about you and your energy they know that you are an earth angel but they want to criticize you virgo okay um so just because you don't want to work with them all right so somebody's salty they salty in your energy uh, we're moving on. Let me get one more for what is in Virgo's energy that they should be aware of. Put them on and make you want to marry me. What else is in Virgo's energy that they should be aware of? Okay, we got a Pisces sister. Pisces sister. Okay. Sister. Swister. Um, this could actually be your sister or you know how you call, but oh, that's my sis and that ain't really your sis, but it's your friend here. Take it as it resonates. What's this Pisces energy? Or you could know a Pisces and their sister could be in your energy in some type of way. In your business, in a Kool-Aid, don't even know the flavor, Virgo. What's this Pisces sister energy? We got defense and tourist energy and isolation and Virgo energy. Okay, so heavy on the earth energies today. We got Pisces coming out. We had some Leo Sagittarius Aries here, two and six, and then we have six and nine, three, six, nine, but it's two, six, nine. Um, anyways, 
We have Taurus and Virgo energy coming out for this Pisces and sister defense and isolation. What is this energy for Virgo? What is this energy for Virgo defense and isolation? You could be defending yourself by isolating yourself from somebody. And um, somebody's sister, somebody's family could be like involved. They don't even know what's happening here. <laughs> they want to cast judgment, Virgo. They want to be in the Kool-Aid. They don't even know the flavor. They want to be in your business. But they don't know why you defended and isolating yourself from somebody. What's this energy? The two of coins juggling. The page of coins. And the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. Okay, somebody could be, mm, he could be dealing with a Pisces and this person could be juggling juggling you, all right? They could be telling you, they could have told you that th this was your their sister, okay? <laughs> um, they could be like, oh, that's my cousin, that's my sis, you know? Um, and they're really fucking this person with the Queen of Cups. Um, or they're really like juggling this energy with the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. What is the Twin of Cups relationship with Virgo? Or this is that Pisces sister. Two of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so... With the Two of Pentacles, it talks about balancing, a balanced decision. It talks about adapting. All right, and the Page of Pentacles talks about a financial opportunity ambitious energy desire study dedication somebody could be trying to uh, find financial opportunity find balance in financial opportunity so your sister could be using you using something here relationship okay we got the queen of coins in the reverse again the Hierophant, Taurus energy again. Okay, so there's two queens out here. Um, sister. Tell me about the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Coins. The Two of Wands, Future. The Eight of Swords. Somebody's trapped here. Okay. All right. So you could have a Pisces sister. Okay. Um, this person could be very shallow, jealous of you, um, what you're doing here, needy in some type of way. Um, their future is looking like locked up, imposed, restricted. That's why they're trying to find balance, a balancing opportunity. What does this have to do with Virgo? have to do a Virgo. The three of coins and the nine of coins. Yeah, somebody wants to team up with you. They want to collaborate with you. This is somebody in your energy that you need to defend yourself from and isolate from. Virgo, this is a, an opportunist, a clout chaser energy. Somebody sees you being very self-sufficient. All right, they're seeing you live off the fruits of your labor here and they want to collaborate with you, figure out how to make this a financial opportunity for themselves because their future looks bleak, Virgo. What should Virgo know about this? The lovers. Okay, like I said, this could be a lover's empress at the bottom, Libra energy. This could be a lover here, okay? You could be in a relationship with a Pisces and their sister is like really clingy and all over the place here. Virgo want to be your friend and do all this. So you need to protect yourself from them. All right, you could be... You could be in a relationship with somebody... Um, and somebody wants your man here. Tell me about the lovers. Wants your man, wants your woman here. Three of wands in the reverse. The six of cups. 
the six of wands. I feel like somebody's had difficulty since childhood with the three of three of wands in the reverse and the six of cups. Somebody has had frustrations, obstacles since their childhood. What's the six of wands? And you've had victory being single and independent here. Difficult decision, holding on to it, being blinded, Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands, Virgo. This is somebody who would make a difficult decision to like hold back from you, lie to you, hold on to you, hold on to a lover, hold back some information about a lover, do something shady in your energy. What, did the, what is the sister doing to Virgo? What is the sister doing for Virgo and this is why you need to protect yourself two cards of defense and isolation what is a sister doing to Virgo five of cups girl the empress somebody could be like trying to cause a breakup kind of cause a separation in your finances or what you are fruitful in whether that's relationships your home space uh being self-sufficient for yourself they want to cause you grief and loss all right so there's somebody in your energy who want to come towards you with some type of uh, queen of cups energy pretending like they love they friend they friendly they're compassionate they're comfortable uh, make you feel comfortable with them but in reality this is somebody who would mess with your man mess with your lover mess with your energy take steal hurt you in some type of way here in virgo this person is very jealous of your come up they've had obstacles from childhood that kept them in a victim mentality and it's time learning from that victim mentality they're looking at you as somebody that they can take from okay Five of Cups and the, the Empress caused some type of breakup with your fruitfulness, Virgo. This is somebody who wants to mess up other people's shit because their shit is messed up. And we have the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. They would do this. They would um, take action in order to transform their life, in order to get into karma waters. They don't care what they have to do, uh, what action they have to take, what impulsive energy they would do um, to do this, Virgo. Eight of Coins. Eight of Wands. The star card here. This person would, it's almost like they'll put in work to move forward and being a star. So if you have a platform and you're publicly known in some type of way, this is somebody who wants your position. All right. They want, they want what you got here. This is somebody who will put in work and being famous and um, still in the spotlight from you, but it wouldn't put in work to fix their own life, uh, get their own shit together. This is a taker. Okay. So this is what I got here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.